Welcome back, everybody. If you are here, you have to know what's happening. Uh, as Daft Punk famously said many times. One more time. Indeed, one more time. Uh, everything comes in threes, right? Rule of threes. So we're 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 getting tired again. Uh, obviously, pun intended. So Yella's performance in the intermediate episode was not was unremarkable at best. So these are the Pitbull Braven Berserker 2.2s uh, on some really narrow uh, 2.2 wheels. Like they're they're like that wide. The the beadlock ring in the middle is actually I, I think it's about that wide. But uh, these tires are really compliant and. Uh, I have to say, uh, in all my time with the Braven Berserkers, I, I guess I just haven't found the rig that they work on because they have been, I don't want to go so far as to say mediocre, but mediocre, like they are not terrible. They are also not great. Uh, two surprising things about them, if we hold them up to just a uh, run of the mill 1.9, uh, you can see why they are operable. Uh, they are just a tiny bit taller and essentially the same width as a 1.9. Uh, so even running them on this, the rubbing, like I thought the rubbing would be terrible. The rub, the rubbing was actually minimal. Uh, it didn't appear to raise the CG very much. It behaved pretty much identically uh, on all the obstacles. It just yeah, it was there. like yeah, it was, uh, I I don't see the point really. I think they look okay. I thought they'd look funnier, but I think they look okay. So let's get on to how the time was spent in the intervening period between tire fest te tire test fest part one, tire fest test fest part two, the the debacle, and uh, this which is. Tire Test Fest 22, part the third. So uh, this is the guy we're focusing on as part one. Uh, found, figured out the tires for Daphne. Uh, here are her wheels, uh, just waiting for the tires to show up, which shipped from, of course, Illinois. So if you saw the image that I posted up, the day after, the, the day of, anyway, recently, with all the tires pulled apart and uh, all the foams laying around, I, uh, I took care of that. Uh, much to the chagrin of my fingers and my aching psyche. So let's run it down. Uh, we're gonna go lightest to heaviest and I will try with all of my might to remember what's what. Up first, uh, Traxxas Canyon Trails set number one. They are the lightest of the lot. And what they are is my least favorite set of beadlocks. I don't know why I dislike them so much, I just do. Uh, these are the inner dual stage component from the boom racing. So closed cell inners. And then these are the outers from Pitbull dual stage. So they're running a dual stage. The outer is very soft. Uh, the inner is very firm as it's closed cell. It is a decent width, fills the tire up pretty well. Uh, once again, we know feel cannot be trusted in the hand. Feel only counts on the rocks. That said, they feel pretty good. Uh, they, they mounted it up fairly typically. I think I have one that has a loose bead in the front, just about a half an inch of bead that didn't quite seat just right. Uh, I think they'll be fine. Set number two, the now venerable Axial Nitto Trail Grappler MTs. Uh, second heaviest uh, somewhere between 729 and 730 grams for the full set. It tends to kind of bounce back and forth. These are mounted to the, I, I believe they're Benedict Harry uh, 
bead locks. They're okay. I like these because they have a very flat, wide bead lock ring on the front and rear. So they're particularly easy to mount tires to. Uh, they are fitted with the OE J Concepts Medium Foams. I had a spare set of those. Well, from the re-foaming, re-homing, I had a spare set of those. So again, uh, they, they, they feel... They feel like an OE tire is what they feel like. Up third, and what I am desperately trying not to hang all my hopes and dreams on, uh, a set of uh, a wheel tire combo, three between three and four grams heavier uh, than the previously mentioned set. That is J Concepts Scorpios mounted on what uh, the method Amazon method clones, uh, which I do like. Uh, these are outfitted. Uh, the, there are fronts and rears. Uh, that's a front. That's a rear. Uh, uh, crazy crawler mediums in here, whatever they call the mediums. And then for the rears, uh, crazy crawler basics, which are the, the lightest ones. So they have that same star cut all the way around. Uh, these are the fronts. These are the rears. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping against hope on those. Uh, they're about the same weight for the set as they were before, I think. Anyway, uh, on paper, these should be the best performing of the group. But, I mean, what does that mean? Up third, uh, the weight, I guess, a byproduct of the Chosen Foams. As I believe these were the lightest set in the round that they were tested. They would of course be the Injora Super Swamper Rocks tire on the TE37 clones. How these are outfitted is I, uh, I took some advice uh, from the, the folks in the comments to, to the best of my ability, you know, using what's on hand. Uh, they are also fitted as a set of fronts and rears. These are fronts, these are rears. The fronts have, uh, I imagine, Crawler Innovations, they are solid. They are single stage closed cell foam inserts. So if you can see on the pinch, a, the, the foam ends probably right about where that sight line is right there. So the, above that, it's just so hollow. But they are a good width, so that should be good for the front. And the rears have MST stock foams, which kind of the same situation. They, they, they're not perfect. They don't come all the way out to the sidewall, but they do give just a little bit of, there's just some dead space between the lug and the top of the foam. So I think the, the solids will be best served for the fronts, for side hilling abilities, and these should be fine for the back. Number five, the set for which I have no expectations whatsoever, but uh, pure rim weight takes them to 764, 765 grams. So uh, aside from the very light set of Canyon Trails at the beginning, uh, we're only talking 30 grams, roughly 30 grams different per set. These are, of course, and I say of course as if just anyone listening or watching would know exactly what these are. Uh, again, uh, taking some advice from the comments, the awful... Boom Racing Hustler MTX, uh, absolutely wedged on to some 2.2 wides. Like the rim is as wide as the tire. Uh, if these show any sort of capability at all, I will probably swap them off of these wides onto those the, the narrow 2.2s that are on Lil Yellow right now. Uh, in them are Traxxas Canyon Trail stock foams. And again, they, you know, like if you just felt that and had never driven these before, you would think this tire is going to do pretty well. But I have no expectations whatsoever. I expect nothing, and I'm still let down. I expect them to slide around because they perform like a typical Amazon tire. The only upside to this point in the experiment is that uh, when you just... Uh, stuff these down with some 2.2s, man, they mount really easy. I think they might have been the easiest to mount set of tires of the whole group. Last but not least, 
And honestly, if probably just because of this weight, uh, the big beef uh, closing out the day's group at a fairly whopping 861 grams. You know I'm loving the Traxxas Canyon Trail dollar store hair buns for foams fitted to Injora SSD clone steelies. The non-wides, just the normal width. Uh, they feel exactly like they've always felt. They mounted very easily due to the width of the rim. I did, I did want to show the difference in mounting between these and the alloys. So they really do, whoa, where are you going? They really do mount like a different tire. Uh, I don't know if the camera shows it super well. I feel like it does. Let's, uh, let's get the old Victor in here. Let's line that up with the edge. Let's line that up with the edge. So the, the Canyon Trail mounted in its typical configuration on a normal alloy rim. We're looking at, I would say right at inch and three quarter going from the seven inch mark. These going from the 10 inch mark are about, I would say they're, they're almost spot on two inches. So they're a quarter of an inch wider and you can see that it pulled them down. Like they should be even, they're resting on a ruler. This tire is shorter than this one. So we're turning height into width. And that's, I think, why they've done as well as they have. Because I kind of tried to accomplish the same thing by putting, let's just squish them, by putting the Scorpio on these black beadlocks, which also have the extra wide, like 25 millimeter beadlock ring. These are now roughly the same height, roughly the same width. This is kind of in between these two. So we'll see if the, the weight penalty and and I would consider you know a, a set in that 750 gram range that's fine uh I, I'm 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 a little worried about these that's that's very light the foams essentially weigh nothing and they're also tall so we have tall and light short and beefy so my brain tells me short and beefy is going to do the best but you know man have I been wrong before and coming in with 30 seconds of rift content to free up these 2.2s. These were on the rift. I, uh, I unmounted this set to mount up to the boggers. And these are some of my favorite, like they just look so cool, but they are the type that uses the flat ring on the back with two millimeter bolts, eight of them. These are a nightmare. They are an absolute nightmare, especially on a big old beefy donut like these. Uh, how do you get these to mount? Well, th this this is how you get them to mount, and it's it's not it's not pleasant. And a hundred percent bias, but uh, I th I think they look great. Uh, that that's what I wanted them to look like. I wish now I wish the cage was black. Like I wish the I, w I wish you had a choice when it came to the kit, or blue. I, I don't know. I wish the cage wasn't dirty gray that shows everything. Anyway, getting way off track here. I have six sets of tires to test. I am not going, I am, I am just going to go at it. Uh, what we are going to do is wash down the lines, and I did that. Uh, I came, uh, you can see a little runoff down there at the bottom. I came out here about two hours ago washed everything down. It was, it was a bit dusty. Uh, and I feel like I'm still out here early enough. Uh, ambient temperature around 80 degrees. Uh, humidity is Southern California low. We have light and intermittent winds from the West. Uh, so it should be fine. Uh, I, I put a, a temp laser on, uh, on the big, uh, rock face there. Uh, the part that's in the shade, like 73 degrees. Uh, the top face facing the sun right now, about 110. So, so, I mean, it's a rock. They, uh, they, they both reject heat and hold heat once they've got it. So, I mean, 
this isn't great, but it's it's already better. We're, we're, we're already looking better than we were in the last one. Some, some good compliance there. I can't tell if that's hung up in the rear. They are, I, I thought that that height, I, I guess their height doesn't really translate. Because uh, once they get some weight on them, I guess they're deforming enough. Like these are not doing remarkable, but I feel like they're doing better. I, I of course have to start with the most difficult line. Oh, look at that. That's a little wobble wobble. I'm gonna I'm gonna set a time limit on these things here because you know if it's if it's if it's adept, it, it's gonna make it, and I'm not gonna have to like do this. Hey, all right, we'll get a we'll get a wide shot over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this this is the line I'm gonna try. Is across the face. Okay, as I was saying, tire does transitions reasonably well. It's obviously, it's got a decent amount of bump to it. Uh, even with the height, they hold pretty well. So if anything, the takeaway so far, uh, this foam combo is pretty good. I don't think it's the perfect foam combo for this tire. Up to slip rock. That's not bad. I mean, everybody gets hung there. Getting the dust out of the tires from the previous effort. You know, putting it down for everybody else. Um, not pushing as bad as some of the combos tested in round two. You can get that tire up and then you want to see what it does right here. Like it's acting like it's really hung up. And then see a lot of push down there. That was actually that was actually a decent amount of slide. Try brute force. Those tires really pick up a lot of dust because they were pushing a lot of dust off. Lastly, over to the precious angle. The lower you manage it, the better, but if you manage it at all, you've done something. Getting a little bit of front end slide, but not, not bad. Keep that front end down. It's right here. Does the rear end slide or does it pop the front end up? It pops the front end up. Everybody gets two goes and that's it. We're, we're, getting, uh, we're getting more critical analytical now. Oh, you've done a bad. Does it have enough bite to get to pull the nose in? Nope. Uh, okay. Uh, rules are made to be broken. All right. Yeah, if I would drive into the line correctly. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, better than anything that got tested in round two, and it wasn't great. Axial Nitto Trail Grappler NT. J Concepts Medium Foam. Yeah, they like a medium foam. Like, they were on, like, super softs the second round and they were terrible honestly this is a bad approach I'm just seeing if I can correct it and yeah, not not much at all in the way of side lug on these it's a trail tire that's supposed to look like a real tire 
quite a lot of push. The slide is not bad. I mean, I, I feel like everything's a little better with that superficial dust washed off, but as you can see, getting the front end not to, not to just push out does feel more sure-footed, I say, as it rolls. It feels more sure-footed than it did on the two-stage canyon trip. And we're not talking about an enormous amount of weight that would make a huge difference here. Now see, if that rear tire would give me anything. Now the front is just out gripping the rear, because I, I give it a little turn here and it just kind of pops it over. Not a lot of forward drive, but better. It's, it's, it's certainly better so far. Uh, transitioning, I would say the Canyon Trails were a little better at it. Little, coming off dirt onto rock, Canyon trails were a little more composed. And now, I mean, did I did I kick? Yeah, there's just there's so much push. There's so much push in the front end. Slick rock. Everybody does great until there. You know, they get halfway up. I'm try to I'm try to hook the I'm try to hook the front over the top. Come on, come on. There we go. Get that front hook so the front is up, and then you try to see will it pull. Is it gonna pull or push? Oh, it's trying. Oh, is it trying? Okay, tires up. it oh just slid off oh come on brute force uh, I mean we, we got to the top aiming the wrong way but we got to the top on last to the precious angle a little higher than I would have liked Ooh. Yeah, that lack of side bite. But, as long as I can keep, okay. So maybe if we can get a little rear slide that doesn't take the front with it. Nope, totally did. But, uh, the difficult to quantify feel, that felt better. Like I, I even uh, there's a that's a that's a big slide get in there into the notch and straighten it some good settle down so uh, a little yellow suspension still seems to be managing and uh, boy can I ever tell exactly where it's gonna roll I'm trying not to place too much mentally on the Scorpio with crazy crawler foam combo. But, I mean, it's happening. Uh, I'm glad they came up in the middle because that way, if they if they do well, which I genuinely hope they do, if they do well, then the rest of them will just be like, well, I can I now have something to compare them to. Wow. I feel like now maybe I should have re-watered down the, the dirt in the transition area. I just didn't want to try this on wet rock. Because that's kind of unfair to everyone. Feel-wise, these feel really good. Um, I understand that this is an exceptionally difficult line, apparently except for Daphne and Jolly Green. Right there, no hop with buttery smooth. 
Oh, it had it. It absolutely had it. And I think it got, I think it got dusted. Oh, it wants it so bad. All right, I need to get two things. Uh, a tube filled with water and a laser. All right, I've put a little water on it. I've put a little laser on it. Uh, the temperature of the rocks is up about 10 degrees. Uh, the temperature of those tires, I just temped the tires, they are 133 degrees. Okay, now that's, that's obviously a little wet. Too wet. I mean, it's gonna dry out fast. Yeah, I got it too wet. There we go. Get up past the wet. I'm just, just trying to spritz the dust off. Again. Dig servos out of adjustment again. I have no dig unless I apply dig in reverse. In a better condition, I think they make it. But their choices were dusty or wet. I mean, definitely more grip. I watered slick rock down. Uh, pretty significantly on the way over there, and it's already dry. Everybody makes it that far with no problems. Yeah, uh, of the tests, of the sets so far, this is the set that seems the most drivable. No one has managed to, to push that lift, though. Gets up on it, no problem, right there. And there's just, there's just not enough grip. Rides it all the way over, but uh, I was gonna say non-tumbly, but then there it was. Brute force attack. You can see the clouds of dust coming off of those tires. It's just, I guess, no matter how much water I put on it, it's really dusty today. Take a look at the side hill performance. We don't get stuck on that monster hose. That was a good nose slide that didn't, didn't pull the rest of the truck with it. Yeah, that's, that, I mean, it's going to roll out, but, uh, it did it, it did it in a very composed way. And yeah, nobody's making this one today. Um, uh, that's my, that's my prediction. Coming across real high. And, you know, even, even that high. Well, I got onto the travertine and that, that's a make if you call, if you, if you call uh, a, a, a run that high on the line and still come on I mean best so far like I could get to the high line and with the others I couldn't even get there and the time to change to the next combo uh, rock temperature up another 10 degrees or so hovering around 130 the tires should be nice and cool though, they've been sitting in the shade. This should be the only set I would think where there would be a noticeable, like this will actually change the front rear weight bias because it's a, an undersized open cell in the rear and an undersized closed cell in the front. So the front foams in this combo are, are the front combo is heavier. Okay. 
going to stand tall or is it going to drop nose? That's, that's promising. I can stay on the face of that rock and not push to where the belly does that. Like that, that's, that's what I, that's what I didn't want to do. Uh, transitioning on these is less great. There is a predictability to them, but uh, I think the front foams are just, are just working better than the back ones. Like right here, I should be able to push up through that. But the rears are just sliding. I think it's just a matter of just not enough pure grip to the tire. There's, there's, I, I, ordinarily I can't hold that much throttle in and not get ejected out of the line somehow. This will just, this will just bounce in the line. You know what, we, we gotta get over, so we're just gonna drive over this way. And Slick Rock, everybody does great for the first two thirds. Tires up. A lot of dust coming off and like see not not even enough drive to to push like I'm, I, I'm, I feel like the front foams are, are pretty good the the tire foam gap notion seems seems pretty good I think the rears I think the rears are what's holding this back this combo back there's the push there's the push just needed to get the tires clear. hey 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 I would say of the uh, of the testes <laughs> of the testes so far uh, that was the best effort you should do fairly well side hill wise because the front end should hold pretty tight or slip a lot <laughs> oh maybe it's maybe it's it's too much gap in the front yeah i just <laughs> i can't i can't give it any I can't give it any up attitude. If I if I turn the wheels up hill, I just fall, it just falls off. Just folds the tire. Oh, yeah, they they have no chance. Despite less time having passed than one might think, uh, the temperature on the ground is now about 140. Ambient temperature 89 degrees, and the breeze that I was truly appreciating is now all but gone. These are the tires that should lower the CG the most, but I think will also offer the least compliance. I mentioned the transition is not going to be great, as I had to water that down again. Will this be the set of tires that can't even get out of the dirt? Oh my god, they're so bad. Just, just look at them. Oh, no, they got out of the dirt. They really, they really, truly do have nothing. <laughs> I, I mean... I was disappointed when I did the initial review of these. I'm, I'm long past disappointed now. These are just, they're, they're so, so bad. I mean, look at that. How, 
how do you get so bad? Can they even get over the hill? I feel like an eighth scale buggy tire would grip more than that. Oh yeah, the breeze. Oh, the breeze came back a little bit. Uh, if there's a combo that has a chance of just not managing this at all, I feel like this is it. I'll give you as much left. Hey, what's up, fellas? Look at those little fellas. Oh, where you guys going? Weird to see two garden lizards hanging out together. Like, I thought they were always oh, doing push-ups. Uh, I thought they were solo chiefs. All right, top tire up. Oh, well, I can see now the, the, the rear axle on these because they're lower. The rear axle just hung. <laughs> like that, that just slid backwards. It slid backwards, like not, not drag brake slide. Sounds like distant helicopters. It's it's genuinely amazing to me how bad the grip is on these. I've tried like four different foams, multiple sets of rims. Oh my god that drop like it just dropped ah oh. they are they are quantifiably terrible but everybody's good at something at least one thing right can't be an abject failure uh prediction uh, all four tires are just gonna cut loose and it's just gonna roll off like it's slipping now like no inputs that front end just slid down like half an inch these tires genuinely <laughs> they don't want to grip notch the second like I, I did the first two-thirds of that with my hand off the steering wheel when the weight of my hand touched the steering wheel it fell off so I could give it no steering input whatsoever same here I'm not I'm not touching the steering wheel Still, okay, uh, this is just one, I am, I'm driving with throttle finger only. Now I need to steer up just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, push the rear down, push the rear down. Oh. Uh, I think they're the worst looking of the group too. Last but not least, the tried and true. I mean, look. Look how wide those wide boys are. The Hairbund Canyon Trails, very heavy. Uh, definitely the best transitionally. Dirt to rock. Now we're getting into the hot rock area. We're, whoa! I'm used to pushing through. There was way more grip there than I thought there would be. So we pray quietly. The gods wheel and tire combos of rubber and steel to grant us passage through the rocks. Oh, that's better. That's just better. Is it still canyon trails? Yeah. 
I, there's like the back roll implies something is gripping. I feel like I'm getting too far right. Every time I try to go to the left, I get flopped over. Uh, rock temps high 130s. I got a spot of like 138. I don't know if warm tires or cool tires are better. Oh, baby. Mmm. That's a moment. That's a moment right there. Oh, I got I got a little ahead of myself. Now I'm, ah, now I'm belly hunt. Get over. Oh, we're over. Another question presents itself. Oh, how about don't drive directly into the rock? There we go. The question presents itself, which is this. Oh, it wants it. It wants it as bad as I want it. Uh, here's the question. Is it specifically the hair bun tire combo? Or is it the fact that this is the heaviest set by a significant margin? I think, was it 100 grams? The one ounce at each corner over the next heaviest? But yes, heavy, but also I'm driving this. I'm not just along for the ride. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, he's gone. Man, it's a uh, it is definitely uh, garden lizard weather because these guys are a everywhere and b moving at just phenomenal rates of speed. By the way, we took that little uh, segue because I'm attracted to shiny things or anything that moves fast. It's my lizard brain. Uh, he's little yellow just hanging out over there, like. Like any of the other test sets we've tried so far would have just fallen off at this point. Now, the pre-lizard question, I can, I can dig on the side and not fall. Anyway, uh, where was I going? So, Yella has no added weight at all. The only weight he's getting is by the weight of the wheel tire combos. So the lightest combo and the heaviest combo are 200 grams apart. Uh, 50 grams per corner. Do we then think that perhaps uh, weighted knuckles or uh, beef tubes front axle or even just like an SSD diff cover just get a little bit of weight on the front. I mean, these are the tires that are staying on him for, for the foreseeable future as this is just better. That's a much higher line than I ordinarily want. And he's really trying to push the, oh, oh, hey. Yeah, this is better. This, is, this isn't frustrating. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's just the right amount of slip. It's it's slip that I can manage. Yeah, I knew what that was gonna do before it did it. So I think we've come through a full and dark circle. And I I don't know about any of you, but I am left with as many questions as answers because this set this particular combo inarguably outperformed the rest. I desperately wanted those Scorpios to take this. But I'm pretty confident that they didn't. So, I mean, look at that. Is this an instance of... How do I want to phrase this? How much of what we just saw 
was the tire quote foam combo and how much of it was the fact that this wheel tire foam combo uh, a weighs 861 grams uh, b has the widest footprint I, it has to be a combination of all three because this guy's cliffhanging right now. Unquestionably, unquestionably the winner. I do like a, you know, good or bad. I'm here for a result. And in stark contrast to part two where I was so downtrodden by my own choices, I couldn't even think of anything witty to say about it. Uh, like, once again, we've, uh, we've tire swap a rude. This is Yella's wheels with literally Daphne's old tires and foams. And it's good. It's real good. I think they look good. I think they're more than capable. I, you know, I hope, I always hope, you know, for a result. You, if you go into something preconceiving a notion and that, like I wanted the, the, I wanted the Scorpios to be it, but I've done this enough that I recognized that I had no genuine idea of what was going to happen, of how this was going to come out. Uh, part of me said uh, that weight is going to make a big difference, and perhaps it did. But you can't, you can't argue synergy, because I think it's all three parts. I think of all the combos that got tested in part two and all the combos got tested here, this is the, the setup where the three parts work best in concert. So while I'm here riding a high of uh, something working, uh, let's wrap it up and close it out and say, thank you for watching everybody. Uh, don't sleep on the hair buns. Uh, I know wherever you live regionally, they may be more difficult to obtain. Uh, I call them dollar store hair buns, despite the fact that I actually got these on Amazon and they were, I want to say they were $3 each. Like it was a two, uh, uh, a six, $6 for a two pack. So this is actually $12 worth of hair buns. Now, if you get lucky, a uh, Dollar Tree or a Dollar General or something like that near you will have the XXL hair buns. Mine only tend to have basically the hair bun that would fit a class one. And also, is it not, I mean, I know Traxxas is a basher company, but is it strange to anyone that they don't make a class one Canyon Trail? I would buy class one Canyon Trails. Canyon Trails are pretty great. Uh, the dig has come back to life inexplicably. I haven't changed anything, but now it works. Yeah, that servo adjustment is one of the banes of my existence. Yella is happy again. And I am uh, I am happy again that Yella is happy again because now I can I can do things like drive up rocks. And uh, that's oh, that's too far. And that's that's what these are for. So on days when I come out and through my own abilities or inabilities, I've made them incapable of climbing up rocks. It fills me with sadness. So today is today is not a sad day. Today is a good day. We're back in the canyon and we're we're on the trails, the crawler canyon trails. And uh, it's all good, everybody. So I don't know. Is this a result? Yeah, sure. It's a result. Do we know how we got here? I mean, not 100 percent. It's a lot of variables I haven't been able to isolate. Oh, that's pretty messy. Uh, yeah, 
I could talk all day. It's really nice in the shade right here right now. Uh, as all the postcards said uh, throughout my youth and adolescence. Wish you were here. It's a good day for it. Just stay off of Daphne's other line. It is too hot over there. So thanks again. I think I already said it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I, I make a conditional promise. Uh, no more tire test videos for a little while. Uh, uh, I think I think we've had enough. Uh, we've we've all been punished. I took you along the journey of punishment with me. Uh, now I would like to do something else. So Yella is back in action. That's good. Uh, leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you're watching this one first, I, I, I do heartily suggest you go back and watch the first two. The first one has information on it. The second one is just me getting just beyond frustrated. And this one has a uh, positive result. So there you have it. Oh, also, uh, should I throw, like, like, of the options for the front end of this, uh, what, 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 where should, where should I start? Should I just go straight to the beef tubes front axle? Because I think all of the options add about the same amount of weight. And I don't think the front end needs a huge amount of weight. I just think it needs a little. Like yellow, as I said, there's no added weight on, on yellow. So there we have it. And, uh, I'm still rambling. So, uh, thanks for sticking through the rambling. And, uh, I hope you uh, tune in for the next one.